everybody, Derek from Addictive Tips here, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to back up your Steam games under Linux. So to start off, we're going to need to install a game, and I have a lot of games to choose from here. I have almost 300 of them, and 135 of them are ready to go for Linux. So we need to find something small that will download quickly, and um, for the sake of it, I am going to go with Hotline Miami 2. Actually, no I'm not. I'm going to go with Door Kickers. Door Kickers is pretty small, and uh, I cover how to back it up in the tutorial, so I might as well do it in the video as well. But install a game like normal, and it will go to where it's supposed to go, and uh, it'll take a little bit of time to install. Three minutes, uh, it's under a gigabyte, so you just got to be patient. So now that our game is installed, uh, and of course, I, I know that not everybody is going to install a game immediately and then back it up, but for the sake of example, please go with me on this. Uh, to sort through your games, go to Installed, and then right-click on your game, and just click Backup Game Files. So, th depending on how many games you select, like uh, if I were to install, say, another game here. Uh, i got to find something small. Uh, this game. If I was to install Bad Hotel as well, and that goes through and installs, once it's done, I can back up multiple games at a time. So if I select both by holding the control button and doing a select, I can then click backup game files. And now I can back up both. I can back up one or the other. But uh, we're going to do both. So then you just click the next button. And then from here, you'll need to select the backup destination. By default, this is where everything goes. It goes straight in the Steam folder. But if you don't want it to be backed up there, maybe you want it on a totally different location you can just go to say your home folder or you can you can make a new folder through here i wouldn't suggest it i would say that this is probably the best place to put it then you just click the next button and uh if you have a large uh a large backup you know like your game is really huge i would select dvd you can also select custom which will let you decide exactly how big the archive files are and CD is the default. Once you do that, just click the next button and it will start doing the backup. Backup takes a long time depending on what game you're backing up. If you're backing up something as small as Bad Hotel and Door Kickers, that's almost not even a gigabyte, if that. So it's just going to take a little bit of time. But if you're backing up something, say, really huge, like Grand Theft Auto V, that could take forever. So it's best to just let it do its thing. So from here, once the backup completes, you can just click on the open backup folder and then you can just copy these directly to your flash drive <clears throat> or SD card and when you want to restore them you just need to go and click the restore button so let's go through the restore process so to restore it go up to Steam click backup and restore games and then click restore a previous backup again it knows where we backed up before so we just have to make sure the files are there but if you've backed up in a different location you would browse for the files this way. And click Browse. <clears throat> we know that the backup is here for Bad Hotel and for Door Kickers. And click Select, and we click Next, and everything is restored. The process can be fast or it can be slow. It really depends uh, on the game files, like I said, but that's how you do it. There are other ways that you can back up, though. If you'd like to learn more about that, please check the article in the description, and I go over how to back up the entire Steam folder. Anyways, guys, this has been Derek, and I will see you in the next video.